Today we're in Bungalow N, which is a Californian bungalow project of ours in the inner suburbs of Melbourne. The brief they wanted to bring into this home was to bring some real special detailing and materiality into the interior design. There's a clear definition throughout the project of the existing heritage elements of the home, which then lead into a much more contemporary space to the rear with the new build. The key space that I really enjoyed is this marble portal that combines the two. It's this element of very special connection. The front areas of the house are facing south. They're always going to be quite warm and moody and dark. I feel like it's been quite successful. The new elements of the home open up greatly into the rear garden, which is all facing north and has a beautiful natural light all day around. The natural light in the space is clearly driven by this double height void in this skylight. The other addition of the very soft curve was also a way to harness and bring in and capture that light as much as possible. The curves continue from outside to inside, so architecturally, landscape, design, in through to the interiors, you'll see these curve motifs throughout. Our trades and our builders might not have liked us at the time, but I think just challenging materiality, what can create curves with what you can't, really pushing the boundaries of what we can create was really interesting and an important part of the project. I think the client with a building background was very open to pushing the boundaries a little bit with what we were using in materials from the polished ceiling throughout that ran up the curve and into the void to the micro cement ensuite in their bathroom. They were also open to using lots of stone, natural marbles, and even clashing and mixing those marbles, which most clients might be a little hesitant to do. They were very open to really pushing the boundaries and still seeing it holistically come together. In the studio, we really pride ourselves on having lots of custom details throughout a build. And not only is that providing an opportunity for us to really test our design skills, but also to provide something really bespoke for the client that's individual to them and their project. For us in this case, there was custom furniture, there was custom lighting, lots of detailing I guess that we love and the client also love and were open for us to create for them. Getting to see a project completed is really a cherry on the top of a long process that you've put a labour of love into. They become a baby to you almost, you're quite involved with the client and their lives. You really become invested in the project on a personal level, not just from a professional level. <laughs>